Hi! In this video, let's have a quick look at um, how to set up BitLocker on Windows Server 2016 or in Windows Server 2012, R2, etc. The first thing is, um, are we doing it the TPM method, which is the trusted platform module, it's a chip on your motherboard that'll basically store passwords, etc. Or are we doing it without it? So, we need to check to see if we have the TPM to start off with. Okay, let's go there. Just type in tpm.msc. Click on that. That brings up this. Okay, if basically this is empty and it says there's no TPM, fine. Okay, if the TPM is there but it has not been prepared and kind of like set up, click on prepare TPM, it will restart and then ask you to kind of like um, accept that the TPM will be initialized and press, I think it's the F10 button, press F10, it reboots and then it comes up and then it shows this, okay? A password is created for your TPM where you can back it up, okay? You do get a first um, message when you first boot up after setting up the TPM. And you can also basically, shall we say, store it again. Okay. All right. Or change passwords, etc. Okay. Clear the TPM, reset TPM. All these things can be done. Okay. Let's turn that off now. So we're using the TPM in this instance. The next thing is to basically go to Server Manager, which is right over there. Click Server Manager. Comes up. We'll enlarge it, add roles and features, next, next, next. It's a feature and it's BitLocker drive encryption. Okay, add these features. You will need to restart, so make sure that um, when you're doing this, you're not running any mission critical applications, services, etc. in the background that need to be on. Okay. All right, we're going to click this now so that it restarts at the end of this very quickly. It'll take a few minutes to set it up and then reboot. We, we should return to it in a few minutes. Now we're going to basically show you how to do it. Basically, how to kind of like, um, let's turn on BitLocker. We've, enabled, we've installed BitLocker, okay, the feature. Now we'll give you the two options. One. Let's assume you don't have the TPM chip, okay? Basically, you need to go to Group Policy, okay, which is tpedit.msc, okay? Click on that. It will bring up this window, and then you need to go all the way to, basically, Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, BitLocker drive encryption, operating system drives, and then require additional authentication at startup. Now, when you click enabled, if you don't have a TPM chip, make sure that one is ticked. Okay, everything else is fine. And then you click OK. Restart your computer. And then you need to run some commands. We've got a TPM chip on this, so we won't enable this in group policy, but we will show you what needs to be done. Okay. You open up Windows PowerShell. Okay. Make sure it's run as admin. Okay. And type in manage dash BDE space dash protectors dash add C. Okay. So that's for the C drive and then the startup key. We're saving it to basically, we have a USB stick, okay, which is D, okay. Press enter, okay, and then you will need to restart your computer, okay. And when it restarts, it checks to see that the key, your USB stick is installed and that the key is all functional. And then when it boots up, it'll start encrypting your drive, okay. Okay, now let's assume you have a TPM chip. All you really need to do is type in manage BDE and then turn it on for the C drive. 
Okay. And that's that. Okay. There we go. So basically, it now requires a restart. Okay. And once the restart happens, it'll check to see whether our TPM is functioning with the key, etc. And it can be used and then it'll start. Okay. So we'll just click on restart now. Okay, and when it restarts, you will see this little thing over here, which says encryption of C drive by BitLocker is in progress. If you go over there, and let's just click on this PC. Okay, you will see you now have this little lock there. Once it's fully encrypted, everything gets locked down. Okay. And you should be able to do it in control panel in 2012 R2. 2016, in its current um, version, hasn't quite sorted it out yet. But basically, what you would have been able to do was bit locker, just type over there. Okay. And it would have gone to a control panel option. Okay, taking us to control panel. There we go. Over there, all control panel items. And you should see somewhere over here, BitLocker. Okay, it's not quite set up in Windows Server 2016 yet, but once it is, it's fairly straightforward. It's a window with all the drives displayed and then you can turn off, pause, etc. on the drive. Okay, so we're using PowerShell, which is great enough. Okay, okay. And I'll just check the status. So it's again manage BD dash status. Okay. And this is basically telling us at this point, okay, encryption is in progress, it's done 0.3%, okay. Once it's all sorted out, it'll say encrypted 100%, protection, status protection is on, key protectors, as it st states over here, it's on the TPM. If we had followed the previous command, it would have been saved to the USB stick and the key protectors would have being mentioned as there okay now if we want to shall we say turn it off on c drive it's as simple as this manage dash bde dash off and c drive click that decryption is now in progress so basically it's now unencrypting or decrypting my hard disk okay and at the same time you can use the technique to manage bd on and then if you want to do it for your d drive e drive f drive whatever you know let's look at the status okay 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 decryption in progress it'll take some time once it's back there, everything is fine. So, in this video, we've showed you how to set up your TPM, okay? Get your TPM running. We've also showed you how to um, install the BitLocker feature, have the computer restart, okay? After it's been restarted, um, We've also shown how to basically use either a USB key for the protectors or use your TPM chip for the protectors and then how to turn on BitLocker drive encryption and also turn it off. Okay, if at any point you have any questions or queries regarding this, you can just type that and it gives you all the different options that you can use with that manage BDE. For example, you can pause, 
you can lock okay you can unlock encrypted data and you can also do a lot lot more change the passwords etc okay so the powershell version is very very strong very nice um the gui version in control panel is also quite nice it just hasn't quite reached server 2016 yet but in 2012 it's functioning fully okay hopefully this video has helped thank you for watching